Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to create a favorites viewer. Now this is going to be spread out into a bunch of different tutorials um, because this is a fairly large application compared to what we've made so far um, but compared to all other apps this is pretty light. So um, like the paint program that we created a couple tutorials ago this comes directly from Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Um, now, I don't take any credit for this. All the credit goes to them. I'm just walking you guys through the program and teaching you what it does so you can understand it. So, let's go ahead and create a new project. Select a Windows Forms application and call yours Favorites Viewer. Now I'm just going to add YouTube at the end of this because I've already created a favorites viewer. And while we're waiting for that to load, I just want to uh, apologize for any background noise. Um, and there's nothing I can really do about that. So let's set the file name. Instead of form1.vb, we'll call it viewer.vb. So it's easier um, to use and work with. And form1 uh, is kind of hard to know what it is and you want to use names that are easy for you to recognize and know what they are. So we'll set the title of it to my favorites and we'll come up here and we'll set the icon to that same star icon that we used in our FTP downloader. Um, now the reason we used it in the FTP downloader is because we didn't have any other icons we could use so we just used one that we could find. Now this star is actually made for favorites so we have my favorites. Now let's come down here and we'll set the size of this. So we want to set it to 470 pixels by 300 pixels. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and we will set, we will add a list view control. Now don't get this confused with a list box. So here's our list view and we need to anchor it to the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So we will find anchor and we'll just anchor it to all of those. Okay, let's see, where were we? So let's go ahead and select our list view and let's rename it so it's easier to use later on. So we'll call it list favorites and we'll go ahead and press enter. Now what we need to do is we need to dock this to the sides of the form. So we'll go ahead and just dock it to the top and we'll drag it down to about right there. That looks good. So let's come over here and we'll add some columns to it. So we will set, um, we will add one. We'll set the name of it to header name. Go ahead and click OK. And then we will set uh, the text to name. So let's find the text here. And let's go ahead and add one more. So we'll set this one to header URL. So this is, this is going to hold the URL of our favorite. So we'll set the text of this to URL. Now let's set the width of each of these. So we'll set the width of this one to 220 and we'll set the width of this one to 220. So it's going to be cut in half. So go ahead and click OK. And you can see that it hasn't shown up yet. So what we need to do is we need to come down here and set view to details. And you can see here that our columns will show up, show up where we have the name and the URL. So we can just make the URL a little bit bigger. Okay, so now let's set full row select equal to true. So what this means is that, let's find it here first. Full row select is going to be equal to true. So if we select an item over here in name, it will also select the corresponding item in URL. So now let's come over here to our toolbox and we will add a link label. So we'll set the name of this 
to link URL. So link URL and we will anchor it to the bottom, the left, and the right. And let's go ahead and hit enter there. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to align the text to middle left. So we'll set the text align to middle left. Okay, so your program should look something like this by now. Um, and if it doesn't, you may want to move back and find out where you messed up. And once you've got this created, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.